Hi, welcome to Product Reviews. So today I'm going to do a review of this little pump-up sprayer. It's a Solo Model 418. It's a one liter capacity. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but it's supposed to work really good. So I'm fixing to give it a test and see how it does work. Uh, these are used for, it's a, it's a one liter capacity and a lot of people use them for auto detailing, use it for their plants. Uh, I'm going to use mine for my indoor plants, uh, spraying fungicides and uh, some insecticides, stuff like that on some of my indoor plants. So anyway, I'm going to get it filled up and then we'll just see how it works. That's the main thing, right? See how they work. Okay, and as far as features go, there's not a whole lot of features on something like this. It's got the nozzle on here. It's an adjustable nozzle. It's got this little cap on it that's supposed to help for overspray to keep it from spraying back. Just concentrate your spray. If the wind's blowing or whatever, it'll help concentrate the spray going out there. You could leave that on. You could take it off. Uh, but the spray is adjustable, and we'll see that in just a second. It's got a trigger right here to put the spray out, and then it's got a little lock here. If you're spraying a lot, like you say you're spraying a tree or a bush or something, you can push the button down, press the lock, and then when we unlock it, you just slide it back and the handle goes back up. And then this is the pump up. So this is recommended uh, 30 pumps to get it full pressurized. If you ever used a, you know, a pump up sprayer, it's just basically, you just pump it. Okay, so I've got it filled up. And it's got a uh, one liter mark. I actually put a little too much in it. You gotta leave a little bit of air in these things. You gotta have a little bit of air inside the bottle to help it pressurize. So I got this filled up to one liter. And this is just plain water here. We're just gonna play with how, it, how the water squirts out first. And then I'll actually apply some stuff onto some plants. So it says 30 pumps. Okay, so that, that's fine. It's a, a little bit harder right there at the end, but it's not anything you can't do. So, that's set on a pretty fine spray right there. So we'll just adjust this thing. I just squirted that out there and that's probably close to a 20 foot reach. It's got a long, it's got a long reach. I know you can't see that in the camera. It's going at least 15 feet, maybe 20 feet. So if you're trying to spray up in a tree or something like that, you could do it. And you go somewhere in the middle here. It's just giving it a couple little twists. So that's where it starts getting to a fine spray. You see right there. And then you give it a little bit more of a twist. And that's really a, really a fine, fine mist right there which that's not going to be worth a lot, I don't think. A bit right here. So that puts a lot of water down. You can see I've covered this whole area within the camera frame within a short period of time. So it works pretty good. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get uh, a tray of my African violets that I need to spray, and I'm going to mix some fungicide in there, and then I'll just spray one of my trays of violets with it, just see how it works. That's what I bought it for. So we'll see how it's going to work. Okay, so I have my African violets out here and I have my uh, fungicide mixed up. And this stuff, it can get on the leaves, but mainly you want it down in the soil. So I went with kind of a semi-straight stream, semi-fog stream on this thing. So I'm just gonna try and spray it. My goal is getting it into the soil. Kind of hard to do with these leaves are pretty thick on these things that works pretty good like that and it's not going to hurt it to get on the leaves it does not hurt it but my goal is to get it get it in the soil it works through the soil That works really good because I'm able to control my spray. Now before I was using a just a trigger sprayer. I mean that thing was a nightmare using that. So this actually works really good. So anyway, 
So far, I like it really well for what I'm using it for. There's a lot of different purposes. I'm sure it's got it's got plenty of power. So if you're spraying, you know, in a small yard, you're spraying bushes or even small trees or something, treating it for something or another, you you know, maybe on a crepe myrtle that you've got fungus growing on it or anything like that, or any kind of insecticides, whatever, you can use that on there. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.